guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, <laughs> uh, June the 6th, I think. Anyways, I haven't seen you guys in four days. <laughs> um, June got her shots, her four month checkup on Friday, and she was really grumpy the last two days, the next two days after that. Um, I'm not sure it was 100% her shots that was bugging her. But uh, the first day you could tell her leg was sore, but then she was really grumpy after that. And I think it was a lot of gas and stuff. But anyways, she's better today, hopefully, <laughs> so far. Um, so I just cleaned the kitchen. Devin is in the shower. I'm gonna try to record this. <laughs> and then hopefully it can get caught back up on my videos. I miss uh, talking to you guys and I miss reading your comments. So I got some happy mail and uh, two of them. And I wanted to share them with you guys. I've already been using one of them. <laughs> But uh, the first one I'll show you is from Shirley. She, I mentioned in one of my recent videos that I needed, it's hot in here. <laughs> I needed, um, that I had ordered a stand for the cones, which I'll show you in a minute, of thread. Because a regular sewing machine doesn't hold it. It's made for little spools. Um, and I use the cones for the majority of my sewing because I can use white on the inside of most bags. Because you never see it. And then I can switch to colors that match it on the outside. Um. And I ordered one from Amazon and it said it wasn't going to come until the end of July. And then it did come up, changed to where it's supposed to ship this next coming week. And, um, but anyways, before, before it, uh, before all that hassle, she told me she had one that she never used and she wanted to send it to me. And what's so funny is the one that she sent me is one that Doris from Rose Cottage Studio, she sent me like a Amazon link to show me which one she has. And it's the same one. <laughs> I thought that was so funny because I just literally added it to my wish list to go back and get later. And uh, it's the same exact one. <laughs> and I've been using it and it's working good so far. But I'm going to turn the camera around in a minute and I'll insert a clip of that uh, to show you how I have it set up. And it's working so far good for me. And uh, yeah, so this is the card she sent with it. <laughs> I've had the same card before. It's from, um, I think the Veterans. When you donate to them, you, you get cards in the mail. I think it's from that. It doesn't say on the back, but I'm pretty sure it's where I got mine. So that's, I'm assuming it's where she got hers, but it's so cute. But yeah, so thank you so much, Shirley. I already emailed you, but I'm thanking you again um, because it's exactly what I needed. Now, I, I did go and try to cancel my Amazon one, and it won't let me cancel it because it was part of another order. So I have to get it and then either keep it as like a spare or send it back. But um, anyways, so yeah, <laughs> I've been using it, and um, I love it. So thank you so much. The next package I got was from Chris, and we did like a swap. I swapped her some yarns that I um, probably would never use because they're so thin, and she sent me some yarns. I have not messaged you yet. I'll message you before I put this video out because <laughs> I just now got to open it because I got it um, Friday or Saturday. I can't remember. But I just, with June being so grumpy, I haven't been able to open it until now. So here it is. First, she sent me a note, which I'm not going to show. And on the note was a beautiful little stitch marker. It says made with love on both sides and it's got this pretty green tilly gem on it. <laughs> Very cute. She also sent some candy. A York Pamper Mint Patty and a Reese's Thin. I love these little things. These thin ones are so good because it's like the outside of a regular Reese's cup but the whole thing is that fat. <laughs> and Devin loves these so I'll probably give it to Devin. She also sent two teas. This is a Twinings, Twinings, Lady Grey. And this is a Tezo. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Zen. I'm not a big tea drinker, but I do like to dabble in it every now and then. I have a whole bunch of people sent me over the years, and I just slowly kind of pick at it. My favorite ones are the Christmas ones. I can't remember what it's called. I don't think I have any scent on it. It's a blue package, and it's called something. <laughs> I can't remember. Something to do with... There's a blue one and a purple one I like. The purple one has something to do with Paris, and then the blue one has something to do with winter. But uh, I can't remember what they're called, but those are my favorites. Anyways... And she also included um, these yarns. So first there's a Karen Big Cake. Let me find the stats. Okay. Here it is. Karen Big Cake. Really pretty colors. It's number four worsted. 100% acrylic. The color is called Jordan Almonds. <laughs> which makes me think of like weddings and baby showers. Uh, it's really pretty. It's like, it's blues, whites, and yellows. But the blues is kind of like a gray blue. It's really pretty. I'll use that for something eventually. <laughs> and then she sent me three cakes of Mandala Baby. These are really pretty. I'll probably use this for something for myself. This is called Pixie Hollow. So pretty. I love the pink. It's really bright pink. Uh, let's see here. This is the number three. Pretty sure these are 100% acrylic. 
What does it say? 590 yards each. Well, there's three of them. That's a lot. I forgot to say how many yards this one is. I got a whole swarm of grackles outside. Um, 603 yards. I have one of these, but in a different color. Blues. And then last she sent a little bag with some other yards in it. So this is a Red Heart Unforgettable. 100% acrylic. 280 yards. I think this is considered a number four, but it's, she's got it like folded over to be, make it tighter. And then there's some ice yarns. I know they don't have all their details on them. I've had ice yarns before. But these are ice yarns. I think these are Picasso's, yeah. 44% acrylic, 56% polyester. So there's this one. And then there's, is this, this is Rockabilly. It's a number four medium. Uh, I can't read its stats. 67% uh, tinsel and 33% polyamide. That's very pretty. And then there's two of this one. This one is Ice Mariella. Mariella? Mariella? It's a number three. 50% mohair, 35% acrylic, 40% polyamide, and 10% metallic Lorix. I don't know how to say that. That's really pretty. So these are the ice ones. Oh, I can't get the other one. There we go. I like this one a lot. That's really pretty. I have no idea what I'm going to make with these, but I'll figure it out eventually. But thank you so much, Chris, for the swap. I hope, I mean, I know you liked what I sent you, but it was funny because I accidentally sent her a yarn that she had sent me in the past. <laughs> but it's okay. We, we laughed about it. But I love doing yarn, little yarn swaps. I don't like doing the big ones because it's hard for me to, um, I always feel like I'm not sending enough, you know what I mean? So I always like to do just little yarn swaps with people because I don't want to send them just, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want them to send me a big, huge box and then me to send them like a crappy one. I'm always worried about that when I do my um, advent swaps and my Halloween one. I'm just always worried that they're not going to like what I sent them as much as what they sent me, you know. Uh, it's just anxiety, I guess. But I got this recorded. Sissy woke up. I hear her in the record noises. So I'm going to have to go get her before she starts screaming. And uh, thank you again, Shirley and Chris, for the packages. I appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys throughout this week, hopefully, in videos. Because I think she's doing better. I'm crocheting away slowly on amigurumi. It's the longest I've ever worked on amigurumi because of the baby. So um, I'm hoping to get it done soon to share, share with you guys because it's a Stitcher library. And then, oh, there's a squirrel out there now. <laughs> and um, then I will um, share that with you and I'll have a Watch Your Work on Wednesday and all that coming up soon. But right now I gotta get the window closed because it's hot here. Just that sunlight coming in is burning me up. So I will see you guys in another video hopefully soon. And I will have a few bags coming into the shop probably um, probably Friday or Saturday. I got them right here. They're cut out. It's uh, gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven tote bags. The bigger ones with pockets. I'm gonna put pockets in them. And then there's gonna be like seven to ten, I can't remember, notion pouches. I'm still trying to use up scraps. I think this will be the last um, update with my random scrap fabric that I've had just left over. And then I do still have, I have the um, jelly rolls that Doris gave me that I wanna make bags with eventually. That's gonna, that's gonna, then those are more work, so it's gonna take longer to get them in the shop. And then I still have a bunch of fat quarters in that box that I wanna use up and then I will purchase new fabric. <laughs> uh, I'm so excited for the fall and Christmas prints. Hubba Lubby already has them out and I want the Christmas ones so bad but I'm trying to hold off. But if I wait too long, they'll be gone. But there's a chicken one that I want that's so cute and there is a Grinch one that I want and there's just so many cute ones. There's like vintage looking ones that I'm gonna have to just go buy them because then at least they'll be here and I'll have them when I want them, when I need them. But anyways, I'm still blabbing. I'm gonna hop off here and go get the baby because she's make, she sounds like she's trying to laugh. I got Mickey Mouse Clubhouse on in there. So, um, anyways, I'm going to hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video at some point. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.